Good afternoon, I'm Hallie Pilot, and thanks so much for joining us on SNN Headline News. Leading our show this half hour, Venice Indians head football coach John Peacock was fired this morning. Venice High School principal fired Peacock from the position today, but according to the Herald Tribune, he will remain on staff as a teacher. The firing coming after Peacock was accused of crossing the line and liking a tweet that criticized Braden River head football coach Kurt Bradley. Peacock wrote a letter about his firing, part of which reads, I'm appalled at Coach Bradley's desperate attempt to exploit today's racial tension to distract from the disgrace he has brought to his program. This has happened because I was the coach that finally stood up and exposed Coach Bradley for cheating in order to protect the integrity of high school football. I knew this could be an outcome of that decision and I was willing to accept that. As sad and unfortunate as it is, it was the right thing to do and I would do it again. Peacock coach football for Venice for 19 years and SNN's Ben Bobic joins me in studio now to provide a little more insight on this. I mean, so for people who don't know Venice sports, like you know Venice sports, you know, the allegations of, you know, Kurt Bradley cheating, you know, where does that come from? Well, it's spring football. Spring football practice began on Monday, officially. Obviously, we know there's spring games and whatnot this spring. And uh, supposedly, the, the uh, Braden River Pirates were hold, uh, hosting illegal spring practices, which means they were having practice before you were supposed to start. So it seems that in, in, in that letter from Coach Peacock, it seemed that they, an area coach had filmed that practice and threatened to go to the rules committee if they didn't come and, and come clean about it, and Coach Bradley did. Did, but also, you know, brings this about. So what it was is just illegal spring practices. And I'm not going to say that this is what prompted him to bring up this tweet, but the timing of it is is too too close to it after Coach Bradley had to come out and say that he was wrong and having the spring, spring practices and illegally um, he brought to light this, this tweet from Coach Peacock. And it, it all is pretty much a big mess right now currently. Yeah, I mean, so it seems that way. So him liking this tweet and then, you know, kind of getting fired as a result is, you know, is that a little pre premature or is there a history of some other things involved or is, you know, is this kind of the only thing that's going on? Well, it's not the first time that, that Coach Peacock has been involved in, in something, I don't want to say something like this, but um, as dating is back at early in his career. Um, 2009, I mean, they, the, the Venice program was fined, I think, close to $10,000 for coaches housing illegal players. Just last year, Coach Peacock himself couldn't participate in spring practices due to some of his players involved in a, uh, a Snapchat exchange with a, a few of the, uh, or a local Local player um, on the Northport football team, and then later on in the fall, when the Northport Bobcats came to play the Venice Indians, uh, the coaches found uh, diapers and toilet paper in their wow. in their locker room. So this isn't something that out of the blue, like we're just going to decide to do this. There's other things that I'm going to say led to this, but it wasn't on the spot firing. There were other circumstances as well that led to it. But it's going to be interesting to see um, yeah, what the district the gets to say I about mean, it. Yeah, it's going to. I mean, it looks like it's kind of becoming a little bit of a mess now that everything's kind of all out there. So I'm sure you know whatever's not already out there is going to be brought to the service. Yep, and Coach Peacock clearly has made his statement, so we'll see what the district has to say, and kind of their motive and, and kind of the firing. And, um, and, and moving on from this is going to be interesting because this is something that no one really could have predicted ever happening and doesn't really happen every day in high school football. Yeah, probably shocking a lot of the Sun Coast. Ben, thanks for joining us to provide some insight on that. We're going to have the rest of our top headlines in just a minute, but first let's go to Marco, who's standing by with a quick look at your weather.